I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. You went up too easily, bro. Up the stairs. The pathway is like extremely janky. Creepy statue. that code for find something to make a fire is it there's a flag here can we burn this nope what about these some withered flowers have been left here they have soaked up too much rainwater to serve as tinder not <laughs> tinder can't go through them doors nothing there's a weird thing on the floor there i don't know what the hell that is There's a doorway this way we can go. And it's important to note here that you've got to be careful with um, Final Fantasy games in a way. Like, if you look at this now, you come through this door, you would assume that you just got to go straight up the stairs and that's it. But if you come towards the camera a little bit, or the edge of the screen, there's a hidden chest. With an ether in it. And there's various little things like that that you might miss if you don't come towards the camera just a tiny bit. Examine. We find a withered bouquet. And we found a high potion. Stepping up in the world. Back down the stairs. Some more flowers here. There's like creepy stat here again. A creepy stat. See, it wasn't just me who thought it was creepy. The game was telling you it's a creepy statue. There's another save point there, but let's go through this door first. Examine. Found a flint. There's nothing else to note in here. Let's throw down another save. Anything in this side? Something written on the floor there. I can't read what it says though. That's where we came. Yeah, this is where we came at. If the eyes. We just killed a load of sushi outside, mate. Go pick some up. What do, what do you, you want? want? It was a bad call. Your, Your team, team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. <sighs> I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. <laughs> Little ghost kid coming to berate me a little bit. You cried. Your team lost because of you, and you cried about it.
I saw a monster, or a fiend as they're known in this game. Hey, wait, wait! Uh, don't go out on me! Uh, nah, just hold on, I'll get more wood. There he is. Quite a cool looking monster. I love the way he's running around the building and just smiling at me the whole time. Give me a break! Now this actual boss you can die against, so you gotta play it smart and carefully here. 108 damage. Oh, two crits on it. Luckily I'm a little bit faster than he is, so, so I get a couple more hits than he does. But double crit is actually quite quite good. Aliens. This alien's fighting with me. You on my side? Cool! Using grenades. Certain items like grenades have special effects when used. These items can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability used. So like I said earlier, all you can really do at the start is attack, but she's got the ability to steal stuff from enemies and use the stuff that she steals. So, grenade! steal. See what we could steal off him. But well, conveniently, we could steal another grenade. I think normally when you steal from an enemy, you can only steal like twice. But after you stole them the first time, it becomes harder and harder to steal more stuff from them. Oh no, I'm low on HP. Another crit. Loving the crit, mate. Here, eat your grenade, bro. Eat another one, mate. And he's dead. We got a, a spear level up. With two ability spheres. Typical Japanese pan there. Scan the ass. Yes, it's a pretty girl, but depending on where you live in the world, you might want to take your eyes off because she's 15. That was close. Hey, let me go. This alien doesn't like my haircut. Redek Drek! The fiend, Irisa Tekyaka! Fuck, Edeku! Fuck, So yeah, if you haven't guessed yet there, I'll bet. I haven't had much luck yet, have I, really? I've been uppercutted in the face by a fish a couple of times. This woman comes along, saves my life, and then kicks me in the balls. Well, I've played this game enough. Basically, they were talking, and I've imported Albert primers over like I, just, I was on a bit. Kid, it died job. So they basically there. They thought I was a, a fiend or a monster. So they were trying to kill me, and the girl said no. What if we're wrong? And then, well, let's kill it. 
like fiends don't bleed. Kainis. Look at this dude. Tattoos and a mohawk. Right, whatever. Do we hood kabeg? I said I don't understand. Fed! He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. This cut me with an elbow across the back of the head. But yeah, in the... after that boss fight, they thought I was a monster. Um, they were going to kill me. She said no. What if we're wrong? And they were like, well, monsters don't bleed like humans. And then she said no, I forbid it. Decided they didn't kick me in the balls and take me on their ship. And then what that guy was saying with his hand gestures was like, put these goggles in, go for a swim. There's some mermaids down there. Have a squeeze of their boobs and then come back. That's not actually what he was saying, but... Right. So this, on the floor right here, is one of the Albed Primers that you can collect. So, if you pick it up... Albed Primer, Volume 1. And, there you go. The letter Y, when, they come, when they're talking, refers to the letter A in English or whatever, so... When they'll be able to understand every time they mention the letter A. And we've achieved the rank of Albert, whatever that word is, Hugela? Head? Hugela? That. But yeah, let's save it. Right, let's speak to this guy. So he, as, you, as, as he talks now, every time where there would be a Y, the letter A now appears in pink. To show that we understand it. He gave us three potions. What about this dude? Look at his head. <laughs> Doesn't really give a shit. What about this guy? That nope, has nothing interesting to say either. Let's speak to the lady. Oh, almost forgot. Now, this is a brief explanation on how to use the sphere grid. Sphere Grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes with spheres. Let's see how this is done. So, yeah, this is a tutorial on how to use a Sphere Grid. I'm just going to skip through it because I know it all. But you feel free to pause it if you need to read what it says to understand it better. I will give a slightly less in-depth, quicker version when I'm going to use it in a moment. But let's get through all this first. A long-winded tutorial. So there, yeah, that's how you level up your characters, basically. You get power spheres, mana spheres, speed spheres, and ability spheres, and you get the slightly rarer fortune spheres. Oh, how long is this tutorial, man? Yes, that's how you check all your characters of stat. And then that's how you flick between characters. That's how you zoom in. Right, that's the end of the tutorial. So, because we got a sphere level, I can do this now. So yeah, this is the entire size of the sphere grid. As you can see, it's massive, so we got a long-ass way to go yet, considering we've only just got our first move. There will be, like, you get multiple characters in your party, and they'll each be in their own separate area, like I stated. So, for instance, as an example, one will be over here, Titus is here, there'll be somebody else, like, over here, someone down here, blah, so on and so forth. Eventually, like, each character... In order to beat, like, Penance and the Dark Aeons that I was talking about, you want all of your characters to have covered all of this grid. And wherever I am, there we go. Uh, obviously, a couple of these nodes are, like, empty. You find things in the game to fill these in. So there's quite a few empty nodes, as you can see on the sphere grid here. Again, to beat Penance and the Dark Aeons on that, you will have to fill each one of these nodes in with... Uh, one of these things that you find in the game later to fill it in with. 
to make your character strong enough to be able to beat it. So that's what I mean when I say there's a lot of grinding to do. And I'm going to have to do it off camera because it's just going to be forever. But uh, in simple terms for tutorial wise, you unlock things in the game when you fight monsters called AP. And then when you get enough AP, you unlock sphere levels. That's how you move around the grid. As you can see, I've got one here. So we move. Now you can activate the node that you're on and the one next to it. So let me zoom in a minute. There we go. So if there was something here that I've just moved to, I could activate that. And I could also activate this one next to it, um, which is an ability. So I use an ability sphere. You use power spheres to unlock like your defense and your strength. And your HP, you use speed spheres to unlock your agility, your accuracy, and your evasion. And then you use, obviously, ability to unlock ability spheres. And then you use magic um, spheres to unlock your magic defense, your magic attack, and your MP. And then, as I said, uh, rarely you'll find things called fortune spheres, and you use those to activate the luck. But they're really rare, so um, that's a thing that you have to grind for later on in the game to get your luck as high as possible. But now, Tidus has an ability he can use in battle called Cheer. So, let's speak to this lady again. We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're going to go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm -hmm. okay, As you can see, let's get to work. I'm enthralled by your story. <laughs> A very janky thumbs up there. Alright, let's get diving. If I remember rightly, you do bump into random encounters on this swim gets piranhas if I'm remembering correctly yes but let's steal stole a grenade since when could you steal grenades from piranhas I'm just going to use her to steal all the time. She's not very, like, powerful at the start. So her attacks are useless, so all you want to do is just steal. Because all you get is grenades at the start. we got a speed sphere there. So they don't give you much AP, these piranhas. So there's no point in sitting here grinding, grinding away, just getting sphere levels. So we'll go one more fight just so we can get a couple more grenades. Grenade! Bitch. I like where they come in little parties. You've got one fish on his own, you've got a party of two fish, and then you got a party of three fish. Nice and easy. Yeah, so you only get two, two AP for fight, so zero use whatsoever, unless you want to sit here for hours and do it. I see a save, so yeah. Make sure we tap on that. Uh, there is one thing as well, this girl, like, she sat right next to a HP sphere. So what I'm going to do, because we just found a power sphere, I'm going to use that so she's got a bit more HP right from the start. Because she's only got 300 HP. And now she has 500, so she won't die quite so easily. It was my only power sphere, but still. Gives her a bit more life. That's the way to do it, mate. Punch the shit out of it. Go 
don't mind me, I'm just swimming into the wall. Pay no attention to that. More piranhas. Phew. Two grenades. She's getting good at this robin stuff. Have another go. Two grenades! Fucking hell. One grenade this time. Going back down in the world. I'm curious, actually, as to whether if I was to use a grenade against these fish, because obviously they're quite weak. I'm curious if I was to use a grenade on them, whether I'd get an overkill. Speed and ability. Let me just sort out my equipment real quick and double check that I'm not next to anything else to use. No, that's a bit too close. There we go. Zoom out a bit. Where am I going? Go back. There. Punch it some more. <laughs> there you go. If all else fails, just punch the shit out of your electronics. Oh, there's a big ass octopus. Another boss fight. I don't know if you can bump into more fish here. I mean, the boss isn't super tough, but just wondering if I wanted to test out my grenade theory. See if I get overkill, but I'll have to do it after this. Let's steal! Have it. 80 damage, right? That's quite, uh... Got 12 grenades, mate. Let's throw one at him. Have it, son. If we didn't like it, you ran away. <laughs> oh, she's got grenades! Run away! Out of attack range. Trigger command. Special commands become available in certain battles. Press left in the D-pad when you... Uh, on the D-pad. In the command window to act this stuff. So yeah, here we go. We can obviously just stand by because if I don't have a ranged attack. The only thing I can do is really sit here and wait. But now we have the ability to cheer, we can do that. But I will say that there is um, another thing you can do. If you press, if you're playing on an Xbox controller like I am, or uh, it's Y, but if you're on a PlayStation, I believe it's Triangle. If you press that, you go into like a guard stance, which means that if you get attacked while in that stance, you take a lot, a lot less damage. But I'm going to use cheer, just because it raises my attack and defense anyway. Chi, however, does have a ranged attack. You can still launch grenades. So even though he ran away, because he didn't like my grenade, he can eat another one. I'm going to use cheer again, because it gives us more attack and defense. And then she's going to launch another grenade. Nautilus charge. Ooh. Ooh. I put her in the yellow. We're going to do a butt attack. And then we're going to do another grenade. And he's going to run away again. We do have access to another attack here, another move here, but only Tidus can activate it, so she will just throw another grenade. And hey, now you can do a pincer attack, which means she goes one way, Tidus goes the other, and he will no longer be able to use his most powerful attack. So we just have to worry about him smacking us in the face with tentacles from now on. Have a grenade. Here we go. Bitch slap. Tidus is in the yellow too. But the 
boss fight is over. There we go, another level. On Titus. So we'll move in one and then we'll... Oh, we haven't got a power sphere, have we? Crap. When we get a power sphere, we can now activate this, which gives us more defense. Where's the way? Oh, there it is. Go through the hole in the wall. Ancient ruins, yeah, it's got like high tech lighting on it. Go for a dip. That big ass white thing there, that is our uh, the big prize. Which if you haven't guessed what it is yet, well, you'll find out in a moment. I really want to... Can we not, like, bump into Piranha? We should be able to, yeah? Give me a Piranha fight. I want to test my grenade theory. Bitch. Give me a Piranha fight. Nope. Never mind. Somebody else can test it for me and let me know. Use a, gr a grenade against a Piranha and see if it gives you an overkill. I would imagine it would, considering it's like 350 damage. Can you tell what it is yet? And there you go. It was the airship. You basically just helped salvage the airship that you'll get access to later on in the game. Hey, Wichita! Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? Big meanie. This dude is all about the food. Whoa! Right on! I don't know whether it's just because I'm hungry right now or not, but that actually looked quite nice. And now I'm choking it there. Hey! Game over! You eat too fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey! Hello there. What is your name? <laughs> Riku. Yeah, quickly I went from acting like an idiot to turning on the charm now. And then back to it like an idiot. Huh? Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um... Who are you guys, anyway? We're Albed. Can't you tell? Wait, 
You're not an Albed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I I'm conveniently a place camera. Star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Several oh, times. Right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near Sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Da, da, da. What, what, what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way. So yeah, but simply, we, we, we have been dragged a thousand years into the future. Just throw in another seed. Oh yeah. Is that it? Is that the end of our chat? You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh... Huh. She's fed, getting fed up of my crap, bro. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. I do like her spirally okay, eyes. I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Uh -uh. Whoa, whoa! Wow, then. I broke the boat. Just do a roly polis day in the boat. Shin! Shin and Musa! Etonic! Etonic! Whoa! Ah! I can't catch a break. Been sucked up into Sid's butthole, punched in the face by a fish, harboed in the back of the egg, kicked in the balls, and then being whipped off in a whirlpool. Save your game? Yeah, why not?
All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider watching some of my other videos, maybe smashing that like button or dropping a sub. You don't have to, of course. It's entirely up to you. Like I said, it just helps me and helps my channel grow. Most of all, though, a massive thank you to those of you who are watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.